Hi Sagittarius, welcome, welcome back. This is a reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, you might find it resonates more though if this is your Moon or Rising sign. Queen of Cups, okay, holding space. Um, let's see, Three of Cups, Two of Swords reversed, we have the Six of Cups reversed, okay. Um, yes, see, Five of Swords. So, so far I'm almost getting the impression that you're feeling that you have to put out this kind, patient, calm version of yourself, betrayal energy, but actually you might be feeling a bit more stressed and exhausted inside than you're letting on. So I don't know if you're feeling that you have to be kind and patient and tolerant tolerant with your divine masculine or um if this is just life in general right now that you're feeling that you need to you know not take out your stress or exhaustion or frustration on people but really what you want is some time alone or something like that okay let's see we have temperance sagittarius three of pentacles reverse wow three of swords in reverse i even think some divine feminines I think I've been saying you. Again, I say this every time. It's because I know that most of the people watching my channel identify as the Divine Feminine, but not all necessarily. So I shouldn't do that. So let me try and remember from this point moving forward to just say Divine Feminine. Because I don't know if you, you know, that's you or not. So the Divine Feminine, um, six, of, six of Cups reversed, Three of Swords reversed. I think maybe they're looking back at something in the past within this connection within this situation and just saying you know what that was painful that hurt that wasn't good and almost feeling a bit um deflated by it at the same time being pretty busy pretty active in other areas of their lives that are having to go around and pretend you know everything is fine maybe feeling like they don't want to tell people about this connection or other people wouldn't understand it or it's just not the sort of thing that they're going to go and tell their colleagues about to explain why you know they're in a bad mood it's easier to just pretend they're not in a bad mood or something like that or they're actually not feeling burdened or weighed down or sad they're actually fine um it's almost like there's some kind of a realization here i'm seeing about something to do with the past actually i think um or looking at something in the present and deciding it needs to stay in the past or it needs to be pushed into the past it can't move forward with the divine feminine so let me see what's this realization about high priestess so yeah this is almost like access to that intuitive higher knowing but once we know it we don't need to run out and share it we keep it to ourselves will of fortune reverse we've got sagittarius twice page of cups reversed mm. two of cups ten of wands reversed and we have the divine masculine here we've got the emperor aries energy so the divine feminine could possibly be feeling deflated seven of pentacles because they've been waiting a long time to hear from their divine masculine they might even be starting to lose hope and to think you know what clearly this excuse my language shitty cycle which is how it feels is just not going to end this person this divine masculine is not reaching out um the divine feminine might be looking at the divine masculine and thinking gosh they seem fine they seem like they're doing pretty well there's no message coming my way do they not miss me as much as i miss them do they not care do they not want this cycle that we're in to close and to begin a new one the divine feminist feminine god excuse me the divine feminine is saying very much that i'm still looking at my divine masculine as the one for me i'm still here i'm still offering my cup but i feel there's no movement from the divine feminine towards the divine masculine it's more of like um, i'm holding space i'm watching i'm observing there's a feeling of the Divine Feminine almost anticipating that the Divine Masculine needs to come towards them. So, I mean, we'll see in a minute what is actually going on with the Divine Masculine. Do they care right now? You know, are they focused on other things? Um, okay, let me have a look at this Queen of Cups. judgment yes yeah, some sort of like right i'm i'm seeing something i'm looking at something in a new way i'm making some sort of a decision eight of pentacles reversed and it could be saying i'm not going to put in any more active effort here for now because i'm not getting it back four of swords reversed a realization that maybe they will they have been more wounded than they thought by this or that they could even have been a recent triggering something they thought they healed from moved past it's come back up 
um, could even be a pattern of behaviour or something the Divine Masculine is doing and the Divine Feminine is saying, oh, I thought that was over, you know, or I thought you'd stopped doing that thing. And it doesn't even mean it's something the Divine Masculine is doing to the Divine Feminine. It could just be something the Divine Masculine does or a way of behaving that the Divine Feminine doesn't like or doesn't feel is productive to teamwork here. Mm. Well, yeah, there's a feeling that the Divine Feminine is actually a bit low on energy right now, not doing so well because of this, this need to keep this kind of heaviness in, project outwards to everyone. I'm fine, I'm grand, you know, everything's good. Um, but feeling a bit sad, a bit sad inside, um, a bit deflated even. But it's it's like not having given up hope, but giving up something, giving up... Hmm, I don't know, putting in the effort for now or giving up some kind of an expectation for now, but not not fully, almost just, I don't know, it feels like some, let me see, how do I word this? Yeah, that's it, Knight of Pentacles, you, you know, we know the Knight is still moving forward, he is the slowest Knight. So it's like you haven't, uh, sorry, the Divine Feminine has not given up hope completely, but there is some sort of a resigned feeling of clearly this is going to take a long time or longer than I wanted. Also, this particular depiction of the Knight of Pentacles, he's looking back over his shoulder. So there is some sort of a reflection on the past and seeing it in a new way or almost just being like, okay, you know, I'm throwing my hands up. I'm accepting it wasn't as great as I try and convince myself it was. I am still wounded and I'm, you know, I'm not going to, it's, it's almost like that. I'm not saying this is what the divine feminine has been doing, but it's reminding me of that toxic um, positivity. I think that's what people are calling it these days. You know, um, when we take it too far, like, oh, you, you just broke both legs. Never mind. If you have a positive mindset and smile, I think you'll be healed instantly. You know, it, it's almost like the divine feminine is saying, well, I've broken both legs and it hurts. So I'm just going to sit here for a minute and feel sorry for myself. Okay. Then I'll, you know, then I'll get over it. But yeah, there's a feeling of, I'm just going to see it for what it was and accept it. I haven't given up hope, but yeah, things are moving pretty slowly right now. Um, I wonder, from my objective perspective looking in, I think maybe things going a bit slower could actually be good because I think the Divine Feminine is really, really exhausted and knows it, but might actually be even more exhausted than they realise. Um, right, so let me get one of these chakra cards and then we'll move into the Divine Masculine. The number um, 858 could be important to somebody. Changes, movement, how interesting, because that is almost exactly what I feel the Divine Feminine is saying is not happening here. Okay, let's see a message for the Divine Feminine, please. Quest. Okay, interesting, very interesting. So yes, I mean, obviously Twin Flames are on a sort of a quest, a journey. We've got, it's almost like she's holding her hands out and there's two options. There's this, you know, I don't know, there, it looks like there are flies and, and the crops are dying or something. That patch of land versus this patch where there's lots of grass and the crops are growing well. Um, again, this is just making me think about the past versus the future. There's something the Divine Feminine doesn't want to bring into the future with them. Um... I, I'm feeling like, and with me seeing the number 858, I'm just feeling like what we're seeing in this reading is the divine trying to pass on a message that whatever's happening right now is meant to be happening this way. So if it's seeming like a cycle struggling to close, if it's seeming like you're having a realisation about the past, it's just not coincidental. It might be part of this cycle closing. So what I'm trying to say is if you're feeling de deflect deflected, defeated or deflated, um, and you're thinking, okay, nothing much is happening right now. Actually, it's almost the reverse. A lot is happening right now. And it, you know, you might only be able to tie the pieces together looking back, like this Knight of Pentacles looking back. Can we have another one for the Divine Feminine, please? Balance. Again, it's like either or, this way or that way, finding a balance. Also, side note, I think there's a need to find a balance with, um, between time for yourself, time for others. And I know this could be a busy time. It can be a busy time for people at work. It can be a busy time, um, obviously with like friends, family, um, 
Also, you know, with it being the holiday season for many people, perhaps feeling pushed into being merry and festive when people are feeling exhausted because it's the end of the year, potentially. Um, right, okay, so we'll leave these tarot cards out. I'll put these back in case they want to come out again in a minute for the Divine Masculine. And now let's have a look at the Divine Masculine. Let me just have a drink first. I think you just got a glimpse of my massive mug of tea. <laughs> Embarrassing. Never mind. Okay. Let's see. The Divine Masculine. What is going on, please, for the Divine Masculine? With the Divine Masculine. Show us what's going on with the Divine Masculine, please, in this connection. Now, remember in this deck, the queens um, hold the rank of the kings and the kings the rank of the, the you know queens if we're talking about traditional tarot we have the knight of cups okay already i think that the divine masculine is in far more of a dreamy romantic mood about the divine feminine than it seems the divine feminine is seeing the divine masculine as being very much perhaps about their work their business um no time for romance no interest in romance no time for slowing down daydreaming eight of wands reversed okay Mm, 858. I didn't realise this was going to be such a pivotal part of the reading, but I think it is. 858. Movement, communication, travel, change around this. I do think the Divine Masculine actually is wanting to take the action that the Divine Feminine wants them to take, but they're holding back. So let's see what's going on. Four of Swords. Right, well, if both people are in this Four of Swords energy, I can see why there's no movement. Um, the chariot in the reverse, cancer there. What's going on with the divine masculine here, please? We have the page of pentacles. Temperance as well, reversed here. Uh, Sagittarius. Actually on top of the temperance card for the divine feminine, interesting. Something is on its head um hold on let me let me keep going we've got the fates reversed the will of fortune reversed the divine feminine had the will of fortune as well and we have the five of wands the divine feminine started with the five of swords oh my goodness there's some mirroring here both of you busier than you'd like to be both of you have this current outward facing self that's very different to what's going on within um there's also this it's like a um a backwards reflection if that makes sense so we know that the divine te divine feminine has temperance balance patience things happening in their right time healing the divine masculine has temperance in the same row column reversed so it's almost like the divine masculine is putting out the what's the word suggestion energy mask that they're in balance and they're happy to wait and everything is temperate and it's chill but they don't feel that you know regarding the connection the divine feminine is looking at the divine masculine thinking they do the divine feminine is truly starting to come into a place of actually being temperate and imbalanced with this because they're starting to accept okay this current cycle is obviously taking longer to close out than i'd have hoped I just, I'm feeling that they're, both the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine are misreading one another. And I'm not going to sit here and say, oh, it's just because both of you are wearing different kinds of masks. No, I think spirits at work here doing something. And I don't think it's going to come together until later on. So I'm going to do a reading like this, I think, again next week. And I I'm going to be interested to see if it ties into this one and how these pieces start to come together. Because there's something bigger at play here. There is a reason why it almost feels like, you know, say two magnets pull each other together. It's almost like there are two magnets, but you, you're kind of like not exactly syncing up. And there's a reason for that. I don't know if it's you realizations happening it's helping this cycle to close but in a way that's going to be better longer term 
seeing things from different perspectives because look we even have the chariot reversed when the chariot is upright we have a specific location we're going to it's like you know if we're driving somewhere we know where we're going we're taking the most direct fastest route um when it's reversed i feel like we're taking the scenic route but in this case it's causing stress five of wands we know five is a challenging number so both of you want to move forward to a particular destination as soon as possible as straightforward as simply as possible but spirit's like no no that surprisingly no that's not what's happening now and with the chariot being reversed we're trying to follow the star we're trying to get in alignment with that voice inside but something's just off like we can't quite we can hear the voice but we can't distinguish the word and it's very frustrating you know or oh i don't know i don't know it's, something is ever so slightly off but i actually think it's supposed to be this way so looking at this from a high perspective it's not off it's perfect how it is um the divine masculine is not as together as the divine feminine might think and the divine masculine is not as oblivious to the divine feminine this connection and the desire to communicate as it seems in fact it's very much on the divine masculine's mind to communicate with the divine feminine um okay let me get some more information here i think the divine masculine does a lot of thinking and ruminating on when is the right time um, and why have certain things happened the way they've happened, which is pretty much exactly what the Divine Feminine is doing. But it feels to me the Divine Masculine right now is, is looking more broadly, more philosophically at the whole thing. The Divine Feminine is having particular insights about specific things that have happened and maybe actually feeling like, wow, I didn't realise at the time that that wounded me so much or that that left me feeling the way it did. Um, Page of Cups reversed, you see exactly wanting to talk but not knight of wands reversed queen of wands so effectively the energy or status of the king of wands well we have lots and lots of passion here see how she's got this sort of um heart well i think it's a mask that she's holding but it almost looks like it's um her face but sort of projected out so there's definitely projection here going on um making things seem one way or seem seem in some sort of way that they're not i wonder why i know i can see why the divine feminine is holding back it's almost like i'm giving up for now why is the divine masculine holding back with the king of swords reversed so queen of swords effectively reversed Six of Cups, the Lovers, okay, Twin Flames, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. We've got Gemini energy here, also talking about communication with the connection to Mercury. The Divine Masculine does want reconciliation, that's a fact. The Divine Masculine does want communication right now, also a fact, as far as I'm seeing here in the cards. However, look at these Lovers, they are both pushing out the masks. Whoops, if I, could, <laughs> I couldn't figure out which way I was going to get it in the camera. Um, see? They're looking at each other's masks. That's what I'm saying. It's like you are connecting, you are looking at one another, but something is slightly off. And the thing that's off is you're connecting to each other's false projections right now. I think that's what it is. And But there is a reason for this. It's supposed to be this way right now. Something is coming out of this, some kind of understanding. So the mask that the divine masculine might be seeing from the divine feminine is oh the divine feminine has gone quiet the divine feminine i don't know if they're interested in me or they're very busy with other things the mask the divine feminine is seeing about the divine masculine is that the divine masculine is maybe focused on other commitments or work or um just completely not in a place for romance at all and actually seems to be 100 percent fine without the divine feminine yeah so you're connecting with each other's illusions and masks um but like I said, I feel that the Spirit's done this on purpose. Okay, so um, let's get a card or two from this deck for the Divine Masculine. Like I said, it's going to be really interesting to see in about a week's time how this has evolved, how it's come together, how it's moving forward. If both sides have had perhaps, you know, further realisations or something, you know, whatever it is Spirit's trying to bring through. Okay, card for Divine Masculine, please. We have Bittersweet. 
and we have, <laughs> have impatience you see both of you actually want this communication now, but in this card, he's reaching for the moon. So the divine masculine is saying reaching out seems like it's impossible right now, or to have a conversation with the divine feminine almost seems like I'm wishing for the impossible. Bittersweet, what is bittersweet please, as far as the divine masculine is concerned? Oh my goodness, quest, you see? You are both on this journey right now and there's something about perspective um, the reality versus the projected illusion, um, the past and the present, this or that. So it's bittersweet because the Divine Masculine is having realisations too. For example, you know, I love the Divine Feminine, I want to reconnect, I'm impatient for reconnection, blah, blah, blah. The, um, the, the bitterness, so that's obviously the sweet, but the bitterness is I want it now. I feel like I can't have it now. I'm confused about what's really going on with the divine feminine i know we're connected i know we feel each other i know we're seeing each other i know we're lining up but something feels off yes what's off is you're aligning with these projections you're trying to understand the importance of yourselves in one another's lives based on the projections and the projections are not the truth okay so that's that's that then. Um, let's move into the part that I want to do really because my new deck arrived today. <laughs> um, so questions. So have a question in your mind. I'm going to pull three piles. So you can choose one, two or three or you can choose more than one. I'm just going to get a couple of cards for each pile. So I don't know if the reason I'm getting two is I don't know if the answer is going to actually make sense based on your question. So just get one question firmly you know decided in your mind if you want to pause go ahead but um i'll get these piles ready okay so i mean obviously they all look the same so well no we've got the pink and the yellow for pile one we've got the pink and the purple for pile two and for pile three we've got two pinks so a nice bit of difference there so um yeah, if you want to take time to formulate your question and then take time to see which pile or piles draw you in, then do feel free to pause. But um, otherwise, I'll just turn them over and we'll see. OK, so if you chose one, you have within the next few weeks. So perhaps you asked about timing there. And then, oh, very nice. We have no need to worry. Very nice. Yeah, so if you're asking about something coming in or a change or something like that, the message is don't worry about it. It's happening within the next few weeks. Cool. Okay, so pile two, let's see, you've got no and ask for help from others. Okay, so this could be a message to say, if you're asking, will something happen? Or are you going to be able to manifest something? The answer could be, you know, no, not as, as you're going or not as things are. Ask for guidance or pointers from people in your 3D or in the 5D. Archangels, guardian angels, ancestors, all of that. They will help you get on the right track. Um, so it could be, yeah, I think the message with these two together is um, the input or realignment from others could help you with whatever this is if you're hoping for a yes. Um, I have to be honest, I feel like it's helped mostly from your spiritual guidance team. You know, energies that will have a higher perspective and be able to see into the present, past and potential futures as well. So you might want to do a bit of journaling, meditation, that sort of thing. Okay, so um, pile three, we have let go and it's up to you. Okay, so it's in your hands, pile three. I don't know if that's, um, that's good to hear or not. Empowering though, hopefully. Okay, so I will leave this here. So thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I'll, I'll be back to do this again next week. I wanna give it some time for whatever's happening to happen. And I'm really curious to see where we go from here. Um, okay, so take care and hopefully see you soon. Bye.